Hello and welcome to my channel, Alicia Budget Beauty. I'm so glad that you're here today. If this is your first time, I review and discuss and recommend and dissuade from all things budget beauty, whether that is makeup or skincare or clothing and accessories. So if you like to save some money, but look like a million bucks, I always say you don't have to spend a fortune to be fortunate. So if that is something that you're excited about, then please subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. It is right here, budget.beauty0805. And let's get into one of the things I've been so excited to review, and that is She Glam Makeup. So for those of you that don't know anything about She Glam or She In, it is an affordable, fast beauty and uh, clothing site. They have all sorts of things from home to kids stuff to even pet stuff and men's and women's clothing. And then they added She Glam, which is their makeup line. And I discovered that about a year ago and kind of during the pandemic and we were on lockdown and I got really obsessed with makeup then. And so I started testing it out and I fell in love with so many of their products. I could not believe the quality for how inexpensive it is, how quickly that it arrives. And um, I actually have an order on the way with some more beauty products that I won't be showing today, but I will be showing them at another time along with some clothing items. I have been buying from them clothing wise for over three years. And when I say I have bought hundreds of items, I mean hundreds of items. But today we're just gonna strictly focus on She Glam and show you all the things that I've been using for about a year. Most of them I love. There's just a few that I don't necessarily recommend, but I'm here to be honest with you and maybe save you some money on some awesome things. So, first of all, today, I am actually, my eye look is all from this Stay Wild face palette. So inside this palette, we have eyeshadows, we have a bronzer, matte bronzer, a shimmery bronzer, a highlight, and two blushes. And then we have 12 pan eyeshadow. So on this blush, it is too dark for my skin tone blush wise. So I'm actually wearing that on the eye today on the outer um, lid and then the rest of it was created with these eyeshadows and then the highlight I actually use on the brow bone and then the inner corner. And I love this palette. It was the first thing that I tried out, I believe, from She Glam. And I was really surprised at the quality of this. Um, it is very powdery. I will say that it does have some kickback kick up. I don't mind that personally, as long as it is pigmented, that is all that I care about. So they are very pigmented, but you do have to work a little bit with that powder. This bronzer is intense. It is very pigmented and I think it gives a really pretty color. And sometimes I use the shimmery one if I just want more glow and the blushes are very pigmented as well. Um, I haven't really tapped much into this pressed glitter. I'm not a very big pressed glitter person. I have to be in a certain mood and vibe, but otherwise I kind of tend to lean towards the shimmers, but it is a very good palette. I do recommend it. I will be trying out more of their eyeshadow palettes very soon in the near future because I think some of them look really, really nice. They kind of remind me of ColourPop um, in their nine pan shadows, and I'm gonna be trying some of those out in the future. Next we have their eyelashes. Okay, I actually, hold on. I have two different ones I want to show you. One I recommend, one I don't necessarily recommend. So these, um, these are the Never Flat Lashes. They come in this kind of marbled plastic packaging. These are beautiful. They are wispy and not too dramatic. They are just right for a nice date night, glam night, but when you don't want to have that heavy lid. And then this one right here, I do not recommend. It is... What is this one called? It just says eyelash set. I don't know, but if you see this packaging that's striped, 
these are just, they're a little too big for me. I mean, some people may like them. Um, if this is your thing, you may actually really like these. They're not terrible. They're just too much for me. Um, I say that and then I'll probably wear them sometime, but they're not terrible. I just really love these never flat ones. I think that they're great quality and I do highly recommend them. Uh, next we're going to do, let's do foundation next. Okay. This foundation, I kind of wish that I would have worn it today. I'm not wearing this one today. I do wear it if I have a date night or I want to get glammed up for something. This has been my go-to. It is the Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. Now, for me to like a matte foundation, that's saying something because I am not a matte foundation kind of girl. I love a dewy, radiant, glowy finish, but this does not it does not apply drying or cakey. It looks like your skin, but just flawless and airbrushed and perfect. And it is medium to full coverage. If you do two layers, you pretty much get full coverage out of it. And I just think it gives the best glam look and just flawless. And I recommend it for wedding. If you're getting pictures done, it is beautiful. They actually, uh, redid the formula on it. When it first came out, I did try it and it had a very pungent, strong paint like smell that I could not get over. And I'm not sensitive to smells, but they did correct that. And they are working on bringing out more shades. I believe they have something around 20 to 30 now, which is a lot better than what they started out with. So I do highly recommend this. My perfect shade right now is in nude. It, they do tend to be a little yellowy and orangey in tone. Um, but I find that if I get a shade darker, I can always correct that a little bit with the setting powder which brings me to the setting powder. So I have two different ones here. I believe that they have maybe repackaged these scents, so they may not look exactly like this, but it is their loose powder. And it has a little top like this, a little thumbprint that you can put your thumb on to lift it. And inside they have a little sifter pad and the netting. I think this other one has the puff that comes with it, yes. So it comes with a little puff. I don't use this. Um, I like to use my um, big powder brush, but here is what it looks like. It is the softest, most finely milled powder maybe that I've ever used. If you've used the Too Faced Peach Powder and know how soft um, and fine that one is, this one is very similar. I have two different shades here. I have more of the pinky shade and then one that is like if I'm a little bit darker in the summer and it is so soft and it gives you an airbrushed look effect as well. I mean, if you wanna just look like you are perfect complexion, then use that foundation and use one of these setting powders and I think that you'll be really happy with it. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about this eye candy pro long wear concealer. So I do like this a lot. The tube is enormous. I mean, this is almost a full ounce, which some foundations come in a full ounce. So that tells you how much is in there. Um, I believe, I don't know what shade this is, honestly, but I do like this a lot. It is pretty full coverage and a pretty creamy, luminizing concealer. I just forget to reach for it, I think, because it is so big that I don't have it with all of my other concealers and I kind of have it buried with my foundation, so I forget to use it a lot, but I do recommend it. I'd recommend you checking it out and see if you like it. Um, okay. Next, I'm going to show y'all some of the brushes that I love. This foundation brush changed my life. A few of their products changed my life. That's my hyperbole of the day. But this foundation brush is number one, sturdy, nice looking rose gold and black, and it just distributes foundation like a dream. It it just gives me the most smooth, even um, spread of my foundations and I love it. I will sometimes 
think, okay, I'm gonna use a different one and see how I feel about this one today. And I always go back to this one. I want to say that it is about three or four dollars, so you cannot beat it. Get it. Um, next we have another one of my Holy Grail brushes, and that is this fan brush that looks just like the foundation brush. And this thing, I never really knew what to do with these. I used to have a thinner one that I would apply my uh, highlight with, but I got this in, and what I discovered with this, and why I love it so much, is it will just correct any of my mistakes that I make if my bronzer is too muddy or cakey or uneven, if I get my blush too high um, up here, then I will just take this and just kind of brush it away, swipe, clean up the edges to make it smooth, and then all of a sudden, all of my mistakes are gone and it looks perfect. This is amazing. You need it in your collection. Next, we have this dual-sided brush. I do like this. Um, I haven't been using it a lot lately. I'm not sure why. Maybe because I found a bronzer brush that is by Essence. It's a couple of dollars. And it has been my go-to bronzer. And instead of really contouring with powder, I have been using that fluffier Essence brush. So I haven't really had a need for this contour side. This side with the little dome is really great for applying powder under the eyes um, or touching up around the nose when you're contouring and you get too much on the sides. I do like this, so I do recommend it. Um, but out of the three, the other two I say get first. So speaking of contouring, holy grail. Holy grail of contour sticks. I never contoured in my life until I bought this stick. And it is absolutely incredible. I have mine in an espresso. It, I'll just swipe and swipe and all around the forehead and the sides of the nose. And this thing is like butter. It does not lift off your foundation. It just glides on so smooth and it blends out beautifully. Um, my secret tool for blending out is a wet and wild um, powder brush that, or a flathead brush, one of those two. But I use that to blend this out and those two together, absolute perfection. If you have, if you love to contour or if you don't and you're scared to try it, get that contour stick. It is awesome. Uh, next, I'm going to show y'all some blushes, and I have quite a few to show. This is the Lightweight Matte Blush in Alice. Look how beautiful that detail is. Absolutely stunning and gorgeous. This is a like deep, deep magenta color, and it's got tiny, tiny little flecks of shimmer in it, but I don't think that it goes on like glitter on the cheeks. It's just really beautiful, deep pigment. All of their blushes are deep pigment. So be careful and tap off before applying, but they are amazing quality for the price. Everything they have is amazing quality for the price. I kid you not. I have been absolutely shocked by it. Um, next we have another blush, which is the Metallic Glow Blush in Make Me. So it is a little bit more cool toned, pinky mauve. And I do like this one. It's not as smooth as some of the others. So I'm not sure that this is my absolute favorite, but you can kind of see the color here. It's maybe not as pigmented. Actually, let me show y'all this Alice one in the soft matte because I did not swatch it at all. So you see it's much brighter much more pigmented than this other one, than the Metallic Glow Blush. So it depends on what your style is. If the other one's too intimidating for you and seems like it would be too much pigment, then maybe you would prefer this other one. Next, we have the Metallic Glow Blush in Slay. And this one also has the cool design. It is a coral shimmery shade and look, look how pretty that is. I just, 
I love it. I get so excited by their makeup. I get excited by saving money on makeup and finding affordable things that were beautiful. And so that's why I get really giddy that I liked She Glam so much. Okay, next we have Gravity, which is another metallic glow blush. It is a much more muted, nude, sort of apricot color. If you can see here on my pinky, it's really pretty. If you want more of a natural um, flush of color, this is perfect. It is perfect for like fall, when you want to do like a bronzy or orange eye and do this blush. It's beautiful. Next up, we have their take on the Fenty packaging. How much does this look like Fenty? I mean, almost, almost ripping them off a little bit, but not an exact copy, which I'm okay with on dupes. This is 201 Smoked Rose, and it is a matte, beautiful, kind of, this one's sort of like a mauve terracotta color mixture and it's got a little mirror. I haven't actually taken this off, but it does have a mirror. I've got the film on. So that's, that's kind of fancy that it's got this packaging and has a mirror. Okay, next we have Chrome Highlighter in Lightning Dust. I guess I skipped one of my blushes. So this highlight is a duo highlighter. It's not very intense. It's actually too subtle for me. Here we go. Well, on here, maybe I haven't just really dug in there um, when I'm applying it to my cheeks, but it is very soft. It's not gritty. It's not um, going to emphasize texture. So if you are more of a subtle kind of highlight gal, then I think this would be really great for you. The blush that I skipped is Jasmatic. This is one of my favorite colors because it's so unique. I didn't have anything like it. And this is in the Metallic Glow blushes. And it is a beautiful sort of lavender, cool toned, pinky blush. And it does have those little shimmers in it. Look, purple. I love it. I love purple. And I've been kind of wanting to do a monochromatic lavender cheek with a lavender lip and eye lately, so I'll have to do that. And I might as well move on to this eyeshadow because it is purple. So we have these, um, these are the Bouncy Cream Single Shadows. And this one is a light purple. And they are so smooth, you guys. These really compete with the ColourPop. Um, shock shadows. They are soft and bouncy and pigmented and just they give such a pop on the eye. I really, really love these and I actually have them in all sorts of colors. Ziggy, you've got in my head, so like a gold and a bronze and more of a darker maroon this is in don't turn around um i'm trying to speed up a little because this video is going to be really really long i've got a lot of products um let it fall is a blue and we have this icy silver in moon and we have the vision which is a kind of black gold fleck and then this is a very orangey bronzy in summer melon so if you like the super shock shadows from ColourPop, i highly recommend you try those out they are about three dollars three or four dollars sometimes on sale so much cheaper these are little jelly glitter shadows toppers and this is in queen and it is this beautiful gold and they i mean they go on so smooth and sometimes these jelly highlighters will just disappear once you put them on or they're really dry and just turn into glitter. But these are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I cannot believe this one is like a shifty duochrome in Peacock and that's a perfect name for this. See if I can kind of get some on my hand and show you. 
It's kind of hard to see here, isn't it? Well, take my word for it. Take my word for it. It is a pretty bluish green. So pretty to put over the top for like that extra like oomph that you need for your look. Um, let's move on to another one of my holy grails and that is this She Glam Eyeliner. The Diamond Eyeliner. It has this beautiful sparkly packaging. Here is the tip that is a very skinny tip. And it is, you guys, I mean, it is so amazing. I am wearing it today. It changed the game for me with liquid eyeliners. I kind of steered clear of them for a long time. And this, it, it gets better as it goes. So the first like two weeks that you open it, it's not as pigmented and you kind of have to double you know, work it, but then give it about two weeks. And then this thing lasts for months and months and months. And it will just stay so pigmented, so smooth, so easy to work with. It doesn't budge. It doesn't run. It is holy, holy grails for me for liquid eyeliner. You will not regret it. I promise. Another holy grail for me that also changed the game in my eyebrows are these micro brow pencils. And I have two different shades that I use. I use ash brown and light brown. And the reason why I have two different ones is if I'm doing a kind of lighter makeup day, then I like to use the lighter brow. If I am doing an eyeshadow look, then I like to go ahead and draw on spoolie this side. And it's a perfect spoolie, like the perfect size really gets in there. And so I will take the lighter one, this super skinny micro pencil, and I will draw out the brow and kind of fill it in first so that when I go in with my darker one, if I mess up with the lighter one, I can correct it easier than the darker one because it is very pigmented. And just, I mean, I just never did much with my brows until these, and now I can't leave the house without doing them. I also love the spoolie side for separating my eyelashes. It, it's perfect for it. So I will fluff them out before I put mascara on, and then I will go back in if I have any clumping. And just get these, <laughs> get them. Okay, um, mascara. This is one that it's not my favorite. It was very hyped up. I saw all these YouTubers where I had already been testing out and using She Glam for months before I saw some of these biggest YouTubers try it out. And the thing that they were trying out the most was this double-sided mascara and just raving about it. So I thought, well, I love everything else. I'm gonna get that. So here it is, you have a curling, uh, separating, lengthening side, and then you have a volumizing side. This one, here's the thing, it's waterproof, which I don't know that it used to say. Um, when I first ordered it, I had no idea. And I thought, when as I was applying it, I thought this is applying like a waterproof mascara. You know how they go on um, much more dry and don't seem to put as much formula on the lash. That's what this does. It does stay, it does lift your eyelashes, it does separate, it does not volumize very much at all. And I am a double layer with all my mascaras. I do a lengthening and curling one first and then a volumizing. But this just doesn't volumize, you guys, no matter what I do. So as a waterproof mascara, if you're gonna be at the pool, in the ocean, sweating at a water park, something like that, and you don't need the like fluttery, big, thick lashes, then I say this is a great waterproof mascara and I'm gonna keep them for that reason and that reason alone. Okay, let me just show y'all real quick while I'm looking at myself in my screen. This necklace, these earring, these rings, these earrings, this bracelet, are all from Shein. Like half my, more than half my wardrobe is from Shein, let's be honest. So um, I can't wait to share some of those things with you guys as well, but I thought I'd just stop and show y'all that all my accessories are from Shein. Okay, another thing that I don't necessarily recommend, these are liquid metallic liners. This one is a silver. 
This one is a gold. And they just, there's hardly any product in here, like none. I think it came out on the brush tip maybe two times, maybe three. Since then, I have to really dig. Not much comes out. The applicator little brush is kind of, I say that, and then a whole big old glob just fell out. Um, it's just, I don't know. They're just not my favorite. I don't like them that much. I wouldn't, even though they're cheap, I just wouldn't spend my money on it. Um, they have way better products than these. As cute as the packaging is, they have better. So let's move on to lips. That's all we have left. So I have more than these. I have, I think, eight of their lip liners, and they are the Velvet Matte Lip Liners. I love these. I do. I love these. They are very smooth, pigmented, of course, inexpensive. My only gripe, how do you know? How do you know what color you're getting, She Glam? Can you please look like they knew what they were doing on this. You can tell which one you're grabbing. These, I have no clue. So you have to take the cap off and that is annoying. And they also don't have a name. They have these little tiny numbers. How am I supposed to know what 203 or 205 and 522? Please, She Glam, put a name or put a color on here because they're amazing. I still recommend them. Just please, She Glam. Okay, lipsticks. I love their lipsticks. It is another one of my favorite products of theirs and all different formulas. I love all of them. So these are the Velvet Lipsticks and this is in Hollywood. And actually, that's right, that's what I'm wearing right now. So it is a orangish brown. No, this isn't what I'm wearing. No, I'm wearing this one. I'm wearing Mocha Brown is the orangish brown. It's brighter in this green. It's not that dark. It is more of a brown, brown orange. And this one is more of a red orange. So Hollywood and Mocha Brown. The packaging is like that magnetic packaging. It feels expensive. It's sleek. I mean, how would you know that these were three or four dollars? And they are very, even though they're matte, they are smooth, they are not drying, they stay put, super pigmented. Love, love, love these. And um, next I have these three. These are my favorite packaging of all the lipsticks because they look so luxurious and expensive. They look like Chanel, they really do. They are a golden black and shiny and again that magnetic closure and they have the embossing that says she glam right here amazing i can't believe i don't know how they do this you guys i really really don't but um this is in rouge beautiful red love that one carnival i love this one it's a little bit deeper red and last of these we have enthusiasm is one of my favorite shades I wear this one all the time in the summer and spring. It is a beautiful magenta. It is perfection with a tan, like with tan skin and this, or if you are a darker skin lady, oh my gosh, you need this. It would be so beautiful on you. I'd be so jealous of how beautiful in contrast with your skin it would be. Just these lipsticks are also very, creamy and smooth and long wearing and I just love them. Okay, last of the actual lipsticks, we have all of these. Again, gorgeous, gorgeous packaging here. These bullet lipsticks that are silver. Um, these, whoa, too many, too many lipsticks. These are a little bit more dry. So they're not my favorite formula out of all these, but the, the colors are still gorgeous. We have flame. Um, these have like a little tiny bit of shimmer, little sparkly things in some of them. This one doesn't, this one's completely matte and a la mode. It is one of my favorite brown shades. It's a cool brown nude. I love that one. Um, let's see, Berry. Berry is, see this one has you're not gonna be able to tell, I don't think, but it has tiny little sparkles 
in it and it is a purpley berry color. Then we have Prophecy is a bright orangey red. And let's see, we have Heartbeat should be in here. Beach Babe is one of my favorite nudes. It's a pinky nude. I love this one. This is a great everyday color. And I know we have Heartbeat in here because I wear it a lot as well. Here it is. It is a more kind of brown nude, light brown nude that I love. So that's all the lipsticks. And last we have a few glosses. So we have the matte gloss, matte allure liquid lip in Sweet Poison. I have more than these shades put away. I didn't bring them out only because this is not my favorite. I think I've just decided I'm not a matte liquid lip type of person. So these are not my absolute favorite, but the pigment's great. I mean, if you are a matte liquid lip person, then I would recommend it. This one is much more smooth on the lips. It is their matte glaze. So it's not as drying. And this color is really pretty. It's like a pinky mauve nude in shallow coral. And then we have these lacquer allure lip glosses in Fix It. I actually put that over top um, earlier just to kind of make my lips a little more shiny for the video, but I do really like these. They are not sticky. They do give a great shine, so I would recommend them. And then we also have Dizzy, which is this corally, shimmery color. So these are beautiful. And if you stuck it out that whole time, we are done. That is my, all the products that I have been using of She Glam over the past year, I did not bring out the liquid blushes that I adore and they had like Fenty type of packaging. They were beautiful. But as far as I understand, they reformulated them and I ordered three or four shades and they are on their way. So I'll wait and show those on the next one. And I also ordered some more lipsticks. I know some more lip shades and I can't remember what all else, but you'll just have to come back and visit and see what else I got. And if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe. I'm trying to build this. Please follow me on Instagram. That is where kind of like my mojo is right now. And I'm growing and like meeting all sorts of other makeup guru girls and having so much fun on there. And I just appreciate you guys and let me know if you've tried any of these or if you do end up trying them and what you think. And I'll see you next time. Have fun shopping. Budget shopping.